The Tomb of Well-Known Studio for adapting long-running shonen battle anime are Toei Animation and Studio Pariot. And today I want to talk about the different methods they use when adapting these long-running animes and with what I think is superior. The first thing we need to acknowledge is the type of anime we are talking about. I am talking about long, long-running shonen such as Dragon Ball, One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach. In fact, I'll be talking about mainly those four series. Now, the thing I want to mainly focus on in this video is the use of filler in both studios and how they use it to pace out their series and handle their animation. Toei Animation likes to stick to the manga and does not like creating its own story arcs in their series. One Piece has about five filler arcs in its entire run and Dragon Ball Z has one or two. Toei prefers to add in what many would call in-canon filler. Filler scenes in a canon episode extending its length, typically adding them into fight scenes or adding in filler comedy scenes or dialogue in episodes in order to extend them and make them longer. This allows Toei to constantly put out canon material that follows the main story, which is the content most fans are the most interested in. However, due to this, the production of the canon material is incredibly rushed, and the animators have very little time to put in a tremendous effort into their work. This results in Toei shows like Dragon Ball and One Piece having lower quality animation because the animators didn't have time to work on them while they outsourced filler. This also keeps them very close to the manga and hurts the pacing of their series, forcing them to drag out the canon material tremendously. Having still shots of characters' faces last more than 10 to 15 seconds at times. There have even been points in the One Piece anime where they've only adapted half the chapter per episode, as seen in the Dressrosa arc during the Sabo reveal. Many who are in a rush to see certain scenes from the manga adapted prefer this style of adapting as it is quicker in adapting mechanic material and it doesn't take time off to outsource needless filler from other studios. There aren't any long filler arcs and because of this they're able to get to mechanic scenes from the manga faster, however the quality of the adaptation in terms of animation is lower. Now let's take a look at Studio Pariot. Now we all know Studio Pariot is known for its filler with the infamously long filler arcs of Naruto and Bleach. However, many would say this is in some way a good thing. Due to Studio Pariot outsourcing the filler, they would have five or six months to work on the canon material and make sure it was all top-notch quality. When the canon material was aired on television, no one had any complaints about it. It was amazingly adapted. Bleach, which is probably more filler than it is canon, is praised as being the best looking and best animated out of the big three by far, and I would be willing to agree with that. Bleach looked really good, especially in its later arc. Well, and yes, it is very annoying to have to wait six or seven months to get good canon material, and it's also amazing that when you get it, the pacing is great and the animation is superb. A great example of this is there was a lot of filler around the end of Naruto. However, once the filler arcs finally ended and we got to our last stretch of canon episodes, every single one of them was movie quality animation, beautifully animated and amazingly paced and totally worth the wait. By spending a year and a half on filler arcs, they are able to then devote that year and a half to working on canon episodes and making said canon episodes as amazing as possible. This is a stark contrast to Toei Animation, who are on a strict time limit and deadline every week, trying to produce the next episode on time, and having low quality animation and horrible, horrible pacing. Overall, I personally prefer Studio Pariot Method, as I feel the Naruto and Bleach anime's canon episodes are much stronger than a majority of the Dragon Ball and One Piece ones in terms of animation and pacing. They aren't dragged out and they all look superb 99% of the time. And for years, these group of two methods most studios would use when producing long-running shonen battle anime. However, when Studio Bones acquired the rights to My Hero Academia, another possibility, which I believe is the best, was shown to us. Instead of making the anime weekly like its manga jump counterpart, Studio Bones has turned My Hero Academia into a seasonal anime, airing roughly 25 episodes a year. This allowed them plenty of time to work on the anime 
and allowed the anime to be top quality in every single episode without adding in any filler whatsoever, unless the filler is created with the sole intention of expanding on the manga. This is what I believe to be the best method. However, I can see how with a series like One Piece, this would be a problem. If you made One Piece a yearly seasonal series, it would take forever to finish, and that's an issue. However, I do feel that Toei Animation's method is the weakest, as they have consistently produced some of the worst canon material out of the three studios. Even on average, the quality of canon material in the Naruto and One Piece animes is drastically different, with Pariyak constantly coming through with high quality animation and pacing, while Toei struggles to even produce half a manga chapter in good quality animation. While Toei has produced some good quality stuff over the years, and Hulk King Island is pretty good, it is undeniable that on average, Studio Pariyak produced better canon content than Toei Animation over the years. I can say confidently, I think Kakashi vs. Obito, a fight between a side character and a villain, is far better than Luffy vs. Doflamingo. The final battle of a three year long arc between the main character and the main villain of said arc. Not to say Studio Pariyot doesn't have its moments of bad animation, however I find they are far less common than Toei animation and their pacing is almost always on point. Though so between the two, I would say I prefer Studio Pariyot's style of adapting. I don't mind the ridiculously long filler arcs as long as when I sit down to watch the canon the canon material is a 10 out of 10, which it normally is close to being with Studio Pariyot, unlike with Toei Animation. However, I am interested to see if more studios begin to take the Bones approach to long-running Battle Shonen and making the anime seasonal even though the mangas are weekly. Out of all the series I mentioned, My Hero Academia by Studio Bone, which is a yearly series that only comes out once a year, is by far the highest quality, even winning countless awards in the Crunchyroll Anime Awards. Tell me what you prefer. Do you prefer Toei Method or Studio Parion? Or do you think everybody should start going the bone route? Tell me in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like, subscribe for more videos like this one.